welcome in ladies and gents so today we're going to be looking at adding a sub or follower goal to your stream similar to the one there so let's get into it right so first off we're going to go over to twitch uh we'll just go on to the website um go to your create dashboard and we're going to create a new goal uh so these will be in your quick actions you just need to add it in i have done here but you just add it in here and i believe there you go so it's just there and it's just add it in like you would any of the others that are on there so your ads and stuff like that um so once you've done that and added it in we need to create a goal so i've already created a goal um you just add, if i've got one at the moment i'm, end, I'm just going to end that one we're going to start a new one um you can edit it for subs or followers i've got it for subs uh, at the moment uh what we do is copy that we do need to start the goal so that will start up and it will pop up in your your chat down here um with it and it when your goals do happen so if somebody does sub or does follow that that goal adds up as you go along um and it shows in the chat uh what we're then going to do is we're going to go over to uh scene i've just started a blank scene i've added a camera source in it you'll understand why in a moment because we're going to add this with a little bit of a twist so we're going to add a browser source um we're going to do it as a new one so we're going to do sub goal uh just put goals yeah we're going to press okay so we're going to be without anything we do with the browser source comes up like this uh, we're just going to paste that url uh, we need 370 by 40 and press OK. It is quite small, so you obviously will make it bigger. And that's great. You can put that wherever you like on your scene. Uh, you can add it as part of your web camera, below it, whatever. But, 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 wherever we're going to look, we're going to add a little bit of an extra flavour to it. So, and I just think it adds a little bit of dynamic to it. And it just done it, it will i'll show you we'll show you so what we're going to do is we're going to add a move filter we're going to add a few actually so we're going to right click on there we're going to add a move source uh we're going to call this one top and we're going to one second we don't want that one we select sub goals we're going to give it a thousand milliseconds and we're going to have a 5000 uh, end delay this will all become clear in a moment and then we're going to get transform we're going to copy this one and we're going to paste it we could have just duplicated it same difference um because we're going to need that one in the same place we're going to rename that now we're going to leave it as it is top no actually we do need to rename it because it needs to go behind uh behind i'm gonna press enter because we're basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the sub goal go down and then move behind the camera and then go back down and move in front of it it's it is a little complicated i'm not gonna lie but i think it just adds something a little bit different to something that's just static on the screen it just adds a little bit of uh something a little different anyway so once we've got that so we've got a top and we've got a bottom so we don't have to keep getting the transform for each one because the position is going to be the same we're then going to add another move source this one is going to be uh move down and we just need to uh, arrange these in a certain order we move this across I'm just going to drag that into a position where we're going to have it to move down and we're going to select sub goals we're going to again we're going to have it as a thousand milliseconds we're not going to have an end delay because we need it to keep moving and we're going to get transform this one we are going to just duplicate because it's easier um and then what we're going to do is we're going to link all these together so we're going to go top it's going to next move is going to be uh where are we move down so move down is then going to be uh where are we 
uh, it's going to be behind behind then going to go to move down so we could just use move down i don't know why i've done it as that way there must have been a reason but <laughs> we're going to go with ah oh, that'll be why because move down to we then do it as uh, as top okay so these all now so we're on top it will move down but it stays on top so we need to do something very very important to make this work properly so we're just going to stop the top one when we'll stop this one here and no, stop the top one because we don't want the next move at the moment we're just going to put none because then when it gets to the top one it will just stay there so when we get to the top we need to this basically we're changing the order of the where stuff is in this section here so just here so we're going to change the order of where these are okay and it's this part that we need so we need to do start relative and this one is a one and then behind same sort of thing start relative just highlight that my mouse went a bit funny minus one i'm just going to add this back in to move down and then we're just going to start it and in theory in theory there we go and it disappears and as you can see down here it changes the order of where these are stacked and then i think this just gives it something a little bit different to your uh your sub goal uh obviously you can change different parts and, and mess play around i always say mess around just just experiment is more what i should say experiment but yeah it just has something a little bit different uh we're going to stop waffling there uh stop waffling uh make sure we do like and subscribe especially that like button uh we're trying to spread this around and uh we'll catch you in the next one ladies and gents have a good day. Bye.